Hey, how's it going everybody? KG's Chaos here. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about No Man's Sky and how you guys can make billions of credits on this game. So, there is a method right now for Indium farming, but I promise you, it's definitely not that. Um, honestly, I don't think the pay is good enough on there, so we're going to do something a little different for you guys. Um, and we're going to do some actual legit farming and this is going to be in the way of stasis devices so where to begin so to start off um, I'm going to show you guys how you can make around four billion give or take every day on no man's sky so regrettably and I have to inform you all that this is a legit farming method therefore this is going to take you a few days maybe a week or two to complete it really just depends on how much time you want to put into it uh, I put a lot of time into mine uh, so let's begin um, so whenever you are making stasis devices you need starbulb to make polyfiber and starbulb gives you 81 of these uh, whenever you uh, harvest them um, and so in doing we need about 260 to 270 of stasis devices to reach our goal of 4 billion credits every day and to do this for star bulb you guys are going to need to plant 1350 star bulb on one plant or you don't have to put on one planet but it's better just having all one place but yes you uh, need to plant that many star bulb to be able, be able to make that many stasis devices but don't worry we're not done yet because we still got about six other farms to do I'm telling you guys this is going to take a long time so let's go ahead and get into this without any further ado so we just talked about it the star bulb but I'm gonna go more into detail and kind of talk to you more into it so you know exactly what to do because you might not have caught on to uh, me talking there because I know I do talk fast uh, sometimes so it I do have sort of a weird accent I guess some people say but um, anyways for star bulb you whenever you harvest one of them you get 81 star bulb in total but we need to be able to make 260 to 70 stasis devices in one go if you're trying to get the 4 billion honestly if you have a farm this big you can just come every few days and just stack back up uh, you never really have to ever come back uh, but anyways um, you need to plant like I said earlier 1350 of them and also a good thing to do is to put the atmosphere harvesters here on this planet with this farm because you get nitrogen you're gonna need a lot of these and this is a legit way to get nitrogen um, but if you guys you guys are gonna want a lot of this like you need thousands um, I'll get into that here in a little bit but the best way to get these types of gases that you need is to make the like the mega farms that where you produce a lot of them kinda like the activated indium farm uh, just look up like nitrogen nitrogen farm stuff like that and uh, you'll get something I won't put that in this video because it's already gonna be way too long uh, but if you guys would like me to make one of those videos I will be sure to do it uh, just leave it down in the comments uh, but anyways let's get back on topic here so next um, after the polyfiber we're gonna need cactus flesh so cactus flesh you get about uh, I think it's 81 but this here is my cactus flesh farm and I have about uh, I have more than needed but cactus flesh you need about a hundred and seventy five of these planted so not very many um, I have probably about 500 here uh, I kind of just added on to this one I've had for a while but you do not need that many you need about 175 I'd make about 200 to be safe just to just to have a little bit of wiggle room there for like the fluctuating markets and stuff like that but again yeah you need 175 of these planted um, oh and also I didn't really mention this at the beginning sorry for the static my mic is kind of janky and also uh, make sure you do all of these outside like do not go to the planet and make them inside unless you have to the only ones you really have to do that with is the fascium or however you say that plant 
uh, but everything else try to put it on a planet where you can just plant it straight on the ground don't make any buildings because this is going to take up a lot of your build space i think you get like twenty thousand room or something like that and this is going to take up a lot of it so you need to have as much as you can uh, again over here and this one is going to be the sulfurine or however you say that uh, will be with this one if you want to do it legit I think it produces 250 an hour, so if you have three, it's 750, and three is max, unless you do the little exploit. Um, but this is an exploit, so I'm not going to show that here. If you guys want to know that, I will make another video, like I said earlier. Um, so next, uh, we're going to get into the circuit board, which you need the heat capacitor and polyfiber, which we are getting already with the cactus flesh and star buds. But to get the other uh, other material we are going to need some other stuff which is frost crystal and solanium uh, these are another or two other farms that you are going to have to make and I will show you here just like I have the other ones um, I have more needed here like more than needed here too but for the frost crystal you guys are going to need about 425 of these if you want to make a little more you can but 425 is a good amount of star bud that you're going to need or star bud <laughs> uh, frost crystal but on this one you get about 81 I believe whenever you harvest it and then also you can put radon at this uh, this farm as well to kind of keep it going now do note you can only have three of these running at a time um, so if you have like three radon harvesters on three different planets it, only three of them will work at a time you can't run them all uh, so that's what takes forever in the legit way so if you guys want to do it the other way to get more you can um, but yeah um, let's keep going on here so uh, next we're going to be working with solanium um, here you're only gonna need about 350 of this um, again you can plant more if you want um, but that's about all that you will need so not very many of this one but it will take you a while because again all of these plants you're going to have to go around and get all of these resources to get uh, which is mainly just the type of plant that you're trying to plant is what you need to <laughs> go and get but it does take a while uh, this is a huge process you can probably do like one massive farm a day depending on the size just about how much you have to go get um, but with this one you also get 162 of it whenever you grab it or uh, harvest it so it is a pretty good little amount so that is why less is needed alright guys now that we can make the circuit boards we're gonna make the superconductors uh, for this we need the semiconductors and the enriched carbon so for all of these different materials it's about to show on the screen um, they're actually quite simple to get um, pretty much you just need the gases that I was showing from the atmospheric refiners that were at each base and you need condensed carbon which I'm going to show you guys my own little method and way of getting that um, but I'll show that at the here at the end of the video Alright guys, moving on to living glass, which we need regular glass and lubricant to make. Um, the regular glass, all you need is frost crystal. Um, you need 200 in total to make the five that it needs to make the one living glass. So I've added all of that in already whenever I showed you guys the frost crystal farm. Uh, you still just need the regular 425 that I said, or however much you want to go over or under or whatnot. But you still need that amount. I put all that together already. So don't worry about all these numbers and adding them up again. Uh, they're all already combined and should all be the same number already. But next we're going to move on to lubricant. Um, for the lubricant we need the fascium and we need gamma root.
Alright guys, and now that we are here, um, you're going to need a lot of gamma root. This here is my gamma root farm that you're about to see. Uh, you need 400 just to make one lubricant, which is crazy. Um, but the number amount of plants that you need to put on the ground is 1,350. Um, it's the same number as you've seen on the star bulb earlier. Because um, it only gives you 41 as well whenever you, or it gives you 81, sorry as well whenever you pick it up it's just a 400 amount that you need just to make one so yes again you guys will need 1350 of these planted um, at your base to have enough for the amount that we're going for